Hello guys, welcome back to Flat Cap Euro Talk, and yet again another scout report. And this one has been requested by plenty of you regarding that rumor about us signing Matthias Svanberg, the Swedish international. Got to be honest with everybody, you know, I haven't really seen too too much of him. Not really someone that watches Bologna very much, uh, so you know it is kind of you know fresh for me as it is probably a bit fresh for you guys, you know. And potentially this could be a bit of an under the radar sort of signing. Definitely a cheap signing, I'll tell you that. Uh, sir, maybe a certain Daniel Levy might be happy about this one. Um, but this is a bit of an interesting thing on the background, you know. Plenty of rec- you know, Wikipedia says he's born in Malmo, Sweden. Other sources say he was born in New York and, and in fact, in Manhattan, New York. So, you know, let us, you know, let me know in the comments down below whether, you know, uh, he's uh, really born in Sweden or whether he was actually born in the USA and then made his way over to Sweden. A uh, bit of a fun fact, his uh, father was a professional ice hockey player uh, and at one point was drafted by the Detroit Red Wings. So maybe that could explain it. Not really sure how that would explain still him being born in New York. Who knows? Maybe just a family vacation and something happened. Uh, but he's around 22 22 years old uh stands at six feet one inches 1.85 meters tall uh, his current club is uh bologna at this moment in time uh his youth club his youth days were over at melmo uh and he also plays you know as kind of a just a box to box sort of kind of ball winning central midfielder can also probably play as a cdm maybe in a double pivot uh but he is definitely known for kind of his aggressive uh, kind of work rate and his you know kind of a i would say his stamina uh, his market value is around 10.8 million pounds. Uh, his contract expires in 2023. So that would sort of explain maybe why we're interested in the, in the guy at this moment in time. But let's break down maybe his attributes. I would say one of his attributes includes uh, his through ball ability. He has very, very good eye for a pass when he needs to. He's also very good at winning the ball back quickly. He almost seems like he'd be decent in kind of the Bundesliga for kind of a high presser kind of uh, player. Uh, he does know how to put a decent ball over the top. I've seen some beautiful chip through balls played by him. Uh, he does have a decent long shot, actually, as well. He scored a fantastic goal against Roma uh, quite recently. And some of his long shots, he almost hits a kind of like Tony Kroos uh, from Real Madrid in that he, you know, kind of hits it hard and low, it hits it on the floor, lets it kind of skip across the floor. It doesn't really go for kind of, you know, an absolute banger, you know, to to hit the roof of the net or to, you know, hit top ends. It kind of goes for that very precise sort of finish, kind of like Mr. Kroos. Uh, his ball recoveries are certainly also, you know, uh, quite decent as well. Uh, I would just say he's, you know, decent, hardworking midfielder. But, you know, let me know again, everybody in the comments, to those who have actually seen a lot of this guy, you know, what do you make of him? What are really his attributes? What could he bring to Tottenham Hotspur? Uh, his categories, you know, for breaking down his 2021 20, 22 stats so far this season, doesn't really do so well in FB Ref when you compare him to other midfielders uh, in the Serie A. Uh, so I figured I would just uh, compare him to his teammates. Uh, he's so far scored three goals this season in the Serie A alone. Uh, he is tied for third in his squad in terms of total goals. Uh, assists, you know, he's had two assists so far this season. So that's a combined total of uh, goals and assists, five so far this season in the Serie A, which is definitely a decent tally, actually. And he's tied for second in terms of assists in the squad. Uh, his through balls, he's, he's actually tied for first with the most through balls completed in his squad with three. Uh, he is also tied for third in terms of shots blocked. That kind of just shows, you know, he's a very box to box midfielder, you know, knows how to maybe get an assist, grab a goal, but also, you know, get stuck in defensively. Uh, he's actually drawn the most fouls uh, in his entire squad by some significant margin with 41. Uh, and as I believe, I think that should say he is first. I don't think that shouldn't say tied for first. It should say uh, he's actually first and in, uh, in fouls drawn also as well, like in the entire Serie A amongst midfielders, I believe he's in the 95th percentile. Uh, in uh, on FB ref uh, in terms of Syria midfielders for fouls drawn. So that could say maybe again, you know, he's very aggressive, carries the ball with, you know, kind of bravery and, you know, especially for a team that's, I believe, 10th in Syria at this moment in time, kind of a very mid table, lower mid table sort of uh, Italian club doing quite decently, I must say. Uh, he's also third in terms of shots total uh, so far in his uh, for his team with 22 so far this season. So those are the stats. I would say when breaking down the stats of uh, Bologna, I could tell that there was a guy, uh, Nicholas uh, or uh, Nicholas Dominguez, I believe his name is, of uh, of. Uh, an Argentinian international on that side. His stats actually were quite spectacular. Again, I haven't seen much of him. 
people when I was looking into his stats, he actually was really the true leader in that central midfield. But that's kind of his partner in central midfield. It seems like maybe Sponberg is more kind of the ball winner, whereas Dominguez is more maybe the kind of creator. But, you know, again, everybody, people that watch uh, Bologna, please feel free to let me know uh, which one uh, you would actually rather have between those two guys. But here it is, everybody. Here's uh, a bit of a highlights on uh, Matthias Svanberg. Everybody, again, you can see these kind of through balls being played in a very, very accurate sort of manner. And again, he kind of does remind me to a degree of kind of like an early Tony Kroos, uh, which is you know a bit probably uh, kind to him, I must say. Probably should thank me for that one. But just a bit of a fun fact as well about Bologna, everybody. Uh, Musa Barrow is certainly a, somebody who I would actually take. I really like Musa Barrow. I kind of uh, put him up there in one of my earliest videos on this channel uh, for some of the youngest talents in Syria that are really killing it in this time. And he was actually one that somehow got in there because I was just looking at the stats and his age and everything. And so Musa Barrow was actually really outdoing himself, I would say, for this kind of mid-table Syria side. So someone we should take a look at, that's him right there who just hit the, uh, the post right there. Uh, number 99, Musa Barrow. Again, I would actually take a look at him actually for... Uh, kind of a backup striker, kind of forward to, you know, challenge Harry Kane. But, you know, enough about him. Let's talk about Svanberg. Look at that finish, everybody. Look at that finish. Fantastic uh, technical ability there. Uh, another good finish by the man as well. You know, some of the goals he has scored, you know, is very good technical skill. You can see maybe why uh, Spurs are taking a look at him. Again, haven't seen too much of him. Uh, beautiful ball in by the man as well. So the goals that he has either provided or the goals that he has scored have been quite spectacular, I must say, really high quality. Uh, that's a beautiful pass. And also, again, look at these kind of balls over the top that he knows how to play. And, you know, it's sometimes hard to really shine for like clubs like these. You know, we saw Tomiyasu obviously shined uh, for this uh, side, you know, and was, you know, very interested, you know, amongst uh, Arsenal and Spurs. Maybe a bit similar, maybe with Matthias Fomberg. Look at that. That's what I mean with the Tony Kroos finish. And again, right here, another Tony Kroos finish. Uh, so seriously, everybody, you can tell that this guy hits it very much like uh, Sir Tony. Uh, but yeah, everybody, Matthias Svanberg, you know, remember the name. Uh, maybe it's someone that we actually will be after. Very much under the radar signing. That would have been probably one of the goals of the season in the Serie A if that had gone in. What a hit. So he does have good long shot range, does have, you know, the bravery to to shoot it from distance as well. Uh, I do kind of like the look of him. You know, again, I'll probably need to watch that Juventus Bologna match tomorrow to really get a taste at him, you know, to really, you know, see if he passes that seeing eye test. But the stats don't exactly show it, but, you know, that isn't the, you know, the end all be all. Um, but, you know, I would say from the highlights and from, you know, some of the, you know, at least goal and assist contributions and finishes like this, you know, you could say he's a good player. I mean, again, a very, very, very high quality technical finish here and kind of a very fundamental, you know, kind of player as well. Like I said, again, I'll continue to make that comparison uh, to uh, Eric Kroos. Uh, of of Real Madrid again because he seems a bit similar to him maybe like an early kind of Tony young days kind of Tony uh, maybe again that's being way too kind a great effort there by the man um, but you know anybody that has seen plenty of him do let me know another great finish by the guy really seriously and the assist by Musa Barrow as well that's a great effort too. So you can see how he surges into the box and actually has a decent finishing uh, range in the box. Maybe he's a bit similar to maybe someone like a Pasolic, uh in in the Serie A. You know that Atalanta midfielder. He always finds a way to score. Always finds a way to get into the box and score. So maybe Svanberg is a bit inter you know, a bit uh, comparable to that. I might say it's a great through ball as well by the player. Another great through ball. You can see his through ball ability is quite decent. Again, really hits it like Tony there. Love it. Scrappy goals as well. Great hit. Yeah, it's exactly how Tony would hit it, to be honest. That is a great hit. Good block. You can see the shots blocked, everybody. You know, we saw that stat earlier. 
more shots blocked for the man. There it is, everybody, though. Matthias Vonberg, I guess. Remember the name, you know, in case we actually do go after him. I would say, you know, decently impressed. Um, but, you know, I feel like I need to know a bit more about him. So I'll be watching that Juventus-Bologna match tomorrow if I can. Uh, but that'll be all for uh, Flat Cap Euro Talk. Please like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell to never miss another scout report like this one. And I'll be seeing you.